Travelers who go abroad under permitted arrangements and are later suspected of having COVID-19 will be able to tap on the various healthcare subsidies and financing plans. The government says this will apply to all eligible Singaporeans, permanent residents and long-term pass holders from tomorrow. The subsidies will kick in if they need to be admitted to the hospital within 14 days of returning to Singapore. Malaysians who enter Singapore under bilateral green lane arrangements are set to serve just seven days under a stay-home notice instead of the usual 14. And that's because authorities say infection prevalence rates are similar in both countries. The move, expected to take effect later this month, is part of an ongoing review of how Singapore handles incoming travellers. All of this comes as Singapore faces a new wave of imported cases as it gradually reopens links with the rest of the world. Over the past five weeks, there have been over 150 imported cases, and this makes up about a fifth of the total 733 imported cases so far. And this comes after authorities announced that more long-term pass holders would be able to return to Singapore during the Phase 2 reopening. On 30th June, Singapore saw its first imported case in over two weeks. The biggest spike since then was on 27th July, when a total of 15 imported cases were reported. The imported cases are a mix of Singaporeans, permanent residents, long-term pass and work permit holders. They returned from over 10 countries, including India and the Philippines. Now, over 90 cases were from India, more than half of the new imported cases. Singapore continues its gradual and phased reopening, including travel links with other countries. Green Lane arrangements with China started in June. Under those arrangements, travellers will have to receive approval before entering Singapore. They will then have to serve a stay-home notice of 7 or 14 days, either at a dedicated facility or at home. And from Tuesday, those at home will have to wear an electronic monitoring device. They will also be tested for the coronavirus before their stay-home notice period ends. The government says it's watching the situation closely. There have been worrying uptick in some areas, including Hong Kong, India, Japan and Vietnam. Many Singaporeans are understandably concerned about imported cases. Indeed, we are keeping a very close watch. But, but keeping our borders sealed is not a sustainable strategy. All of our recent imported cases so far have been isolated or placed on SHN. The risk of transmission to the community therefore continues to be very low.